Me here. Oh, there I am. I thought I was in the match for a second. How's first game? Pongar did walk away with a the dub there. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, are we fucking ready for this? This time we got Jekt taking the attack to Pongar. They are definitely coming back with a vengeance here. For Brock is Medows, you got Flames mixed in ISGs. I really like their ISG gameplay. It's actually pretty fun to watch. Barely saw any Keshigs last fight. Also very shocking. Keshigs aren't banned, ladies and gentlemen. Only Palcos and Senjis are banned. Not a lot of Keshigs on the field, though. Uh, PG walking away this time with some Alc some Healer Bros, some Ball Boys. Um, Sick going with Ball Boys as well. Um, a lot of ISGs, PGs, Javelins. Not a lot of Keshigs. A couple Keshigs, but nothing crazy. Nothing not crazy. I think both teams had a mutual respect and only brought a couple of catch shakes. A lot of Iron Reapers on the field for Jack. Jack completely changing it up brings a sh brought out a shit ton of Reapers. Um, interesting to see. They got at least thir they got at least ten, the two, four, ten sets of Reapers. I'm counting. I can't really count, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for the follows, by the way, guys. Thank you for the follows. Much appreciated. Be sure to get your predictions in, by the way. Don't forget to predict. Don't be rude. Don't be rude. Honestly, guess what my teams right now? I got fucking Jack. They got PG one number one and number two teams in the league. Come on, bro. Come on. After this, though, actually, Jack might get knocked out. We'll see. <clears throat> uh, someone get me a cigarette. I don't even smoke, but I need a cigarette. Good luck to both teams. Let's see what happens, ladies and gentlemen. Hundred seventy-five thousand points on the line for Pond Guard. Five thousand points on the line for Jacked. Not a lot of uh, supporters. That's unbelievable. Jacked is a good team too. I really like them. This time it looks like a full defensive set. Very standard strat uh, for both teams. I mean, both teams pretty much go for the already rush right away. Um, it does look like Pond Guard will go right ahead and try to hold A right off the bat. Um, very interesting strat when we saw Chaka Palin not defend A at all and just hold home the entire time, which was kind of surprising. Uh, but it worked out really well in their favor and they actually slaughtered the enemy team. So. <laughs> it does look like Jack is gonna do some RP real quick and hang out in the tower. Can we get? Are we gonna get some emotes? Can we get some emotes or something? I, I'm ready for some emotes. If I could type, I would wear an emote. I'm just waiting for them to do the floss or something, bro. Like, where is it? We got Jack himself just vibing over here as well. Looks like a couple ladder rushers. One guy pushing tap, far tap left tower. We're gonna push all three towers. A little different than guard who um, appreciate the gift sub as well. My loop, I want to see four. Thank you very much. Uh, Bugle Gum looking for a tab right mid push here on PG, just trying to pressure the lads, making Pine react to it. Um, trying to stop the towers from being shot at. A couple muskets and a pike. Uh, Mike uh, Musk objects uh, getting support by his bodyguard with the musket on uh, tab right mid tower. Towers will land probably decisively here. It does look like uh, I'm not sure what the Pong is actually doing here. Are they defending A or not? Uh, we'll have to see, ladies and gentlemen. We'll have to see. Um, anyway, anyway, it does look like. Uh, wow! Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, Pongar is giving A. Pongar is taking a note from Chocolate Paladins, and they're giving A. Jet, who real is probably just realizing that in the next couple seconds here, is going to decisively take A comfortably. Um, Pongar has completely left A. They have completely left A. They're singing up for home. They don't give a fuck about A. They said, fuck A. I'm done here. I've had enough. Jet walks away with a decisive uh, decisive A take, as well as a B take. Pongar is taking the time here to set up for home, build a big death box, and what had happened. At this point in time, only eight, let's see, hold on. At this point in time, only eight units have been killed. Both teams have their full set loadout, 1178 and 1189. Interesting strat, interesting strat, ladies and gentlemen. Gilch are looking on the tab upside, looking at the probe. We get some scouting, Polax gain strong. Kicker Snack going in for the immediate probe here with Kangle the Heffa. Sinek immediately going onto the wall to challenge Gilcho's uh, superiority up there with his flags. Elbozo plus flags. <laughs> no, nobody. Salt my shit. Soccer not what's up. Astro Tree watching the mid approach with Sig, SKW, Akuma, and Two Nights. We're just vibing over there, watching for Trebs with their jab ones, not wanting to get mid wall. It does look like Chaka Paladins and Pongar are going to take the same exact strat. Interesting to see. Interesting to see. I'll have to see where this goes, ladies and gentlemen. Best of luck, ladies and gentlemen. Best of luck. I'm not talking right this second because I'm trying to save my voice. But at this point in time, it just looks like uh, Jack is taking a slower approach. Really getting their death ball ready. Looking to see, kind of probe um, where Pongard is. 
Um, Pond Guard himself is really kind of comfortably set up here. Really kind of dug in, throwing some muskets down, kind of harassing with Shortbow. Seg doing Shortbow things. Uh, two Knights and Akuma supporting him with muskets on the wall as well. They give Tab left wall. They're not worried about it. Gilcho kind of watching over there, making just checking things and on things. But they're really just kind of set up for home here, knowing that no art can be placed makes them very comfortable this home point hold. Um, at this point in time, a little between Burgers rotating. Um, the death box is definitely set up for uh, Pond Guard here. Uh, it does look like at this point in time, Jack will go for a tab left push down the backside and go for that supply point. Chaka Palace instantly responding with their own units, uh, immediately trying to stop that push. Keshik's coming in to make a clear, and there goes Gilcho taking out Boogle Gum. Boogle Gum does die. The Keshik's do get slammed here, though. Um, we'll have to see how that works out. Chaka, I mean, uh, pa Pongard, dude, taking a trip to the forehead on supply point, but uh, it doesn't matter. Deal Fortis eats that shit. Short Sword's getting strong. Uh, it does look like they will go for a hard trade on the back line here, ladies and gentlemen. The back line is going to be the fight, uh, the first trade of the evening. It does look like Pongard is doing a real, if you saw that, they just made a whole, they just did a whole rotation with eight heroes. Perfectly lined up. ISG's line formation, uh, double ISG's line formation for Jack to protecting the flames, trying to buy them off, trying to bait them into the trip and not pushing too far. Briar taking out crit 6-9 here. The only problem here is, not only is this push kind of dangerous, but if Pongard loses enough players, guess where they spawn? Right fucking there. And that put that would put Jekt in a two-front situation. Uh, it does look like they don't have anyone. They do have a couple of heroes units back on home point to wait for cheeky points. A um, couple of trades happening right now. Four heroes currently down for five heroes currently down for Jekt. Pongard is really winning the exchange here. Um, definitely walking with a big exchange. Uh, this first push will go down in vain heavily here for Jekt, who is down 315 units. The team is full wipe. Uh, three heroes left in the match right now. Two heroes left. Three heroes left in the match right now for Jekt. Full team. Almost uh, actually one here. Oh, yeah, there's the full team right now for Pongard, who's now heavily rotating back to home. One, one cheeky point happens by Bugalgum. Akuma chasing with two knights. SK double with a musket trying to stop Mayuku-1 seeing what's happening. Turns around and says, fuck that. Pongard heavily rotating back. Big exchange kind of. It was a big exchange there for Pongard, taking away a big lead there for 300 unit kills. Uh, only losing 199 themselves. Boogle Gum does go down here to take down. It does look like they will have to try a different attack. Um, Jekt did try that same exact strat that Triarchy tried against Chaka Paladins, and the same exact thing literally happened. Interesting, bro. It's actually literally, I literally deja vu. Uh, that is uh, was a rough rough trade there for Chocolate Palance. I mean, uh, for uh, excuse me, I'm mixing them up now. For Jekt. Jekt now looking for their second option, mid wall. And that is, of course, where Asmetree, Two Nice, Sig, and SKW are currently hanging out. Kicker JJR probing that, realizing that Good Dash 1 also probing and putting up ladders, realizes how many players are up there, seeing that they can't do that push. Maybe they go for a death ball tactic, and we'll have to see. We'll have to see. And we're back to back to phase one here for Jekt, who are setting up their death ball, getting ready, kind of figuring out where they go. They're kind of deciding. They're actually just debating. Uh, democracy is key. Pongard also kind of vibing right now. They're just jumping around. Look at Mr. Billy D. Look how excited Mr. Billy D is to be here. He's probably wearing his pizza outfit right now. Good dash one eject. Immediately take that, take that. Who's way overextended? Crit six nine, overextending to support. That is going to be an absolute wipe there for takedown who way overextended and also crit who tried to help him i should have just let him go also goes down as well putting a 13 v 15 scenario for pond guard on home point is now getting pushed they're gonna go for that snowball type they're gonna take those heroes uh pond guard immediately rotating off the walls realizing they just lost two of their guys in their kill box i'm gonna rotate off the walls here as jex gets very far huge death ball push and pond guard's kind of light um, flames going off there. Death Ball is going to have to hold for a while while they're down a couple players. Ryder watching the flag. No catches can come in right now. They're going for a tunnel hold right off the bat. They actually hit themselves with a the treb. Jack just hit themselves in the head of the treb. SKW runs in past the Medow trying to get on the point. Oh no. There goes Pongard losing the kill box. It's going to be a tough spot here for, for Pongard. They have to win their exchange here. Otherwise, it's going to be tough. Uh, two heroes currently down for Pongard. Four heroes currently down for Jekt. It does look like Pongard, wow, comes back from this. Takes out Jekt's players. Wipes them again on the second push. Treb's going off left and right here. Uh, Pongard snowballs this time. Taking Goo. They do not want Goo Dash 1 to live. They're like, that guy Goo, he needs to die. Uh, and they do. They do take him down. Wow. That was a nice try by Jekt. They had a nice little death ball there. Pongard really kind of... Uh, he just kind of stayed there, bro. He just kind of stayed there. Honestly, guys. Honestly, guys. I'm kind of just a sag. Honestly, honestly, Jekt is really trying here. That was a good death ball. Pongard, those flames, man. Those flames absolutely just, just, uh, 
the not just deleted them, man. Just deleted them. Uh, currently waiting for a respawn here on Jack. They are about half their team is still down here. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. PG is currently saying back up their death ball, taking the time to reset. They're not trying to push out. They're not going to pull a chocolate cow and just go for cheeky kills. They're going to set up their death ball. Allow, out of respect, allow Jack to rebuild and regain their opportunity to make another attempt. Currently down 589 units and only 189 units down for PG. It's about an over, ladies and gentlemen. There's 10 minutes on the clock. 600 units to play with still for Jack. 989 units to play for, for Pond Guard. Um, we'll have to see. I think uh, Jack at this point in time probably has one or two more pushes left in them before they will be a uh, full wipe. I have to say, ladies and gentlemen, as I discussed earlier, I think Crack Castle is very defense oriented. Uh, Jack's going back and setting back up here. They're not taking. They're not trying to waste any time here. They're getting the death ball set back up. They're going back into the classic spots for setting up. Um, so I'm gonna move my mic real quick. And uh, I do gotta say, uh, Jack definitely has an opportunity here. They really that second push they had. Um, there was real opportunity there. They wiped out two heroes for free. Uh, forcing them to leave, and uh, they snowballed right on top of that. That could have been really bad there for Pond Guard. Jack can come back from this. They have their Nomcon shooting in now, trying to harass a little bit, buy some time. Asim Tree and Sig taking the Mitchell mid wall with Maximus Meridius and Takedown watching as well. Crit 6 9, Mr. Ability, Sledge Main, SKW, Red Lip Brave, and Too Nice are watching the little death box. Um, it does look like Boogle Gum, I Rider, Turbo, Kazakhstan, and Kangle the Heffa for Jack are kind of wa watching their death ball. A Synetic on the back line watching an Ice Eagle and Header on the wall with Kicker Jade and, and Sido Nick making sure the archers don't go down. At this point in time, Jack does go in for their push. They are saying, fuck it, round three. The flames go off again for PG. They are in their death box this time. They are very set up. So is Jack. Jack says, fuck this shit. We're going. We're taking out this death box. And there goes PG on the flank with another death box. They didn't see that coming. And it does not look good here. It could be rough. It could be rough. Jack is getting in a two-front scenario. Four bunkers not set up for Jack. Pongar has great air set as well. I'm going for a closer look, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going for a closer look. Turbo Kazakh gets killed by the Grey Hairs. Asmatree holding the back line as well. Cav on the flank. Kicker snare coming in with the flank with Goo Dash 1. And there is the Armatures, it looks like. And, uh, yeah, it's it's tough here for uh, Jack. Jack is trying to stay alive. They are getting con completely con um, they're getting uh, uh, congested on there. There it comes in Keshix. Keshix the wipe. The, the cleaner is here. Uh, the Keshix come in and clear off the point. Uh, that's a full wipe, uh, a full wipe again for Jack. We're now down a thousand units, roughly. I thought 970. Uh, at this point in time, it'll be. I want to be honest. Uh, there is a 90. There is an 84 percent chance. 84 percent chance that uh, uh, PG walks away with this, uh, unless uh, they all die somehow or, or just donate the match. Um, Jack uh, does take a full wipe here. Two years still alive for them. Um, they're basically out of units. They are leaving the match. That is game, ladies and gentlemen. That is game. GG's. Well played. Um, Jack does not want to waste seven minutes in here and get salaried on. They do uh, call it there. Uh, they really tried their hearts out. Went for three full pushes and uh, lost the exchanges. Uh, really nice try for Jack, but uh, PG will walk away with the dub here. A decisive win for PG, who goes 2-0 and and maintains their first place. And uh, they really kind of came to play, ladies and gentlemen. They really kind of came to play. Uh, they really kind. They gave A. They gave B. And that home point. Well, that home point is pretty hard to lose when you're uh, set up like that. The flames were just devastating, ladies and gentlemen. We were just devastating. Um, looks like a couple match people still in the match for um, for uh, Jack at this point in time. That we're waiting for them to leave, and then the match will end. Um, out of respect, they leave the match so they don't have to waste time. Artie is not allowed in these matches. Yep, and that's game, ladies and gentlemen. That's game. Oh, yeah. Who are we waiting on here? Ladies and gentlemen, I want to say it's not honor to have you all in my chat right now here. If you enjoy the stream, if you enjoy these if you enjoy these things, definitely give good feedback to the uh, CB Rivals community. Big shout out to CB for keeping this thing alive, keeping this thing hosting. And it's been an absolute pleasure to, to stream these games. Um, for... PG, we have Rebel Brave walking with a decisive MVP. Eight hero kills and 122 unit kills. That's not Rebel Brave, that's Queen Reb, ladies and gentlemen. Queen Reb came to play tonight. Sludge Man closely following behind with Little Team Pregnancy and Akuma, of course, the Polaxi Man himself. Uh, Jack, to, Jack to also walking with first place for hit for Jack, to, this is for the to Jack team. Also with Goo Dash 1 and Kangle the Heaven following closely behind. Unfortunately for Jack, that they really didn't win. It was not a close one. 
Um, PG really kind of put the hammer to them uh, on a defense. I do think this map is defense oriented, and NA players do love this map. Um, was a very tough fight here for Eject. Um, and they do not really match uh, in units this time. First match was really was really close. This one, not so much, man. Not so much. Uh, if we look at the post battle analysis real quick, uh, we can see here A and B taken decisively. I mean, you can see the big pushes here. I mean, they really tried. Um, they really tried. They made three huge pushes. Um, one, their initial push was on the backside, which I think was a mistake because they can get sandwiched. I really don't like this push ever. Uh, the other two times they went for a full death ball approach in the flames and the the second push they actually got a real opportunity for, they said to win their exchange and did not um the flames just really kind of did their job there uh for a pawn guard and then uh on the third push they got completely wiped there was no uh no even trade there uh, it was just uh, pg clearing it uh so there it is ladies and gentlemen uh 2-0 for pg